Basically, yeah. This thing's, this thing's for sale. Is it really? 375. That's it? I'm thinking about getting it. Oh, you saw on the list over there? Yeah. Oh, you saw that list quick. I only saw it because the, they were looking at it already. Gotcha. What's this man playing? What the fuck is this? Oh, it's pretty cool though. <laughs> Yo, that gun looks tight. Oh, what? You know how to touch that? You thought that was an item? That's a bomb, yeah, dude. Check it. You rotate like this. <laughs> then you just shoot. Yo, that's tight. I'm gonna go see what's up. Did you just take one of my quarters? Dude, this still happens? It definitely just took a quarter. Oh, I took your quarter? Yeah. That's some bullshit. Problem with the 90s. Allies. What's up, YouTube? So, I've been meaning to do this video for a very, very, very long time. And the reason why I've been holding off is because I wanted to do some research to make sure that what I am claiming is true. But you know what? I have not done my fucking research because there is no point in me even doing this research when I already know that what I'm about to say is already true. Because there is no debate in this. Whatsoever. I've had arguments with people on this stupid ass topic that should not even be a question. This should not even come to your head. If you're into video games, there is no way on the planet this should even be talked about. But yet it is talked about, and so I'm here to freaking tell you right now that it is fact that PlayStation 1 is by far better than Nintendo 64 on all levels. All levels. Every level you can think of. Level 1, 2, 3, everything. There is nothing you're going to tell me. Nothing you can type. Nothing you can say that is going to change my mind that the PlayStation 1 is better than the 64. It is better. Now, before I start this video, put this shit back. This is about to get raw and uncut. Before I start this video, every time I make a fucking rant video about video games or something that I enjoy, I get these lame little teenagers that are like, Oh, dude, get a wife! Get a wife! Go get laid! Have that, that! First of all, I'm 27 years old. I graduated, I graduated from college. I got, you know, got a good career. Got everything I did in my life was good decisions. I'm debt free. I got money. I got everything. While my, my life is the bomb! It is by far the bomb! Nothing you can say is going to change the fact that my life is the bomb and I'm the freshest motherfucker on the planet. So while you guys try and find somebody to get laid, I'm going to get paid. So thank you for clicking on this video and giving me money. Now time for this rant. Let me get to this. I'm sick and tired of fucking hearing people everywhere. Everywhere I turn. YouTube. Life. People in the streets. I see motherfuckers be like, PlayStation 1 or N64? Motherfucker, don't come at me with that stupid ass question. You already know the answer. It's PlayStation 1. There's no debate in it. Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? Why is this even a question? You know why it's a question? Because you guys know N64 is lamer. You know that. Every... You guys... Fucking... <laughs> you guys are... You're completely missing facts. You don't take the facts. Facts. Let's get to the facts, alright? Let's get to the fucking facts as to why the PlayStation 1 is better than Nintendo 64. First of all, PlayStation 1, you know how long that console lasted for? 11 fucking years. 11. 11 years. 11 years. What? Oh my. Before that, even during that time, consoles only live for 5 years and they're done. Five, six, seven, maybe eight, maybe. They might still make games. Maybe. Eleven years. From 1995 to like, they still making games to like 2006. Are you kidding me? PS, PS3 was already out when PS1 decided to stop. That's a decade. A decade. 
N64, how long did that shit last for? Hmm, let me think really quick. Ah! Hmm, oh no. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe five years? Maybe less? I don't fucking know. You gonna tell me a console that lasted for five years is gonna be better than a console that lasted for 11? Okay, but you know what? A lot of you N64 fanboys and dick riders, alright, you, you guys don't, you, to you, that, that doesn't matter. Oh, sales. Oh, uh, 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 the longevity of the console, that doesn't matter. Alright, let's throw that huge, huge fact away. Let's look at how many, let's look, how many consoles did the PlayStation 1 sell all together? Let's think about this really quick. Hmm. A hundred million. A hundred million. Now get, remember this number in your head. A hundred million units. A hundred million. PlayStation 1 sold a hundred million consoles worldwide. How much did the N64 sell? 30 million. <laughs> it, was, it was triple. PS1 sold triple. Oh, but let, 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 uh, UN64 dick riders, alright, sales don't matter, let's throw sales out, alright, what do you guys got left, come on, alright, graphics, okay, graphics, uh, wow, N64 has so, so much better graphics, okay, so because N64 has 64 graphics and PS1 has 32 bit graphics, it's automatically better, so you're gonna tell me the Panasonic 3DO, because it's 32 bit, is automatically better than the Super Nintendo. According to your logic, that would that would make the claim right there. 3 do is better than fucking Super Nintendo? Sega Genesis? Of course it is, right? Because it's 32-bit. Atari Jaguar is better than the PlayStation because it's 64-bit. But according to your logic, that's how it I have yet to see a fucking N64 game that looks just as good as PS... Fucking Final Fantasy VII. What game? Have you played Resident Evil 2 for the Nintendo 64? I have. I've actually beaten it. Now, compare the PlayStation 1 graphics to the N64 graphics. Now, common sense would have it that since the 64-bit had better graphics. No! It doesn't! It looks just as worse. Have you seen the cutscenes on 64-bit console, cartridge console? It looks like trash. You can't even make cutscenes. But let's, let, you know what? Alright, graphics. You guys want to go with graphics? Alright, so much better. All right, let's, let's see what else. Memory. N64 had cartridges. PlayStation 1 held a hell of a lot more memory. N64 had an expansion pack. An expansion pack. I remember my friend, my boy, he rented Perfect Dark. He didn't have an expansion pack. And the fucking expansion pack didn't come with Perfect Dark when we rented it. We popped that baby in. We're like, where the fuck is story mode? Where's the campaign? You couldn't play the fucking campaign! Now, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe we were just fucking idiots, but all we could play was just, like, some weird multiplayer. We couldn't even play the real story. Am I wrong? I don't know. I That was the first and last time I ever played that stupid-ass game. That was the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. You're still going to tell me about that? Okay, so now you motherfuckers, let's just throw all that shit out that I just, I just told you. Alright. Games. Oh, N64 has Ocarina of Time! It has Mario 64. Quite possibly the... They revolutionized video games. Suck my dick. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. So because some nerds claim that Zelda, Ocarina of Time, is the best game ever, you're telling me that Nintendo 64 can never be beat as the best console ever. It can never be beat. So PlayStation could have... 20 billion games, and because Ocarina of Time is on Nintendo 64, all of a sudden Nintendo 64 is better for that one game. That is the dumbest argument, the most weakest shit anybody could say. That is so stupid. That That's something you throw out there when you're losing an argument and you know it. When I'm throwing facts at you, oh, well, Ocarina of Time is in Nintendo 64. The fuck does that guy do with anything? You guys act like that game is perfect. That game isn't perfect. Motherfucker, I don't even play that game. It has to do with elf and magic. <laughs> Nintendo 64 is the most over-fucking-rated console ever. Now, everybody thinks I hate it. I don't hate... 
It's not that I hate this console. I just don't like the fact that people always want to overrate this console. Just let it be. Let it be. Now, a lot of you guys love the console. That's fine, man. It's probably your first console. You know what I'm saying? You like shitty kitty games. All right, whatever. But for people to claim that this shit is better than the PlayStation 1 is nonsense. It is nonsense. It is nonsense. Nonsense. I don't even know why I'm even have to explain myself, dude. I There is no denying the fact that Sony PlayStation changed the way gaming is today. Before that, games were fucking kids' toys. They were. PlayStation completely changed it with their marketing and everything. You are not ready. Play it loud. Dude, if you weren't there, then don't fucking put any input at all. If you weren't there to fucking remember any of this, commercials, magazine, if you weren't even born... Shut the fuck up. Don't say a damn thing because your shit doesn't matter. Because you weren't there. You weren't there. How are you going to fucking put your input on something that when you weren't there? Anything you're going to say is all opinion based. I'm not doing this opinion. This is facts. Facts. It has a thousand more video games than N64. People always, people always want to claim, oh, well, if they have a thousand video games, then that means they have tons of shitty video games. Of course. I'm not going to deny the fact that players didn't have shitty games. They had tons of shitty games. So you're going to tell me all of 296 games that Nintendo 64 has are all good? You're lying through your fucking teeth. You're a fucking liar. You're going to tell me all 296 <coughs> games are the best? Are all good? You're lying! You're going to tell me Superman 64 is good? You're going to tell me Gas Deadly Arts is good? Come on! Hybrid Heaven? You can tell me these games are good? These are shitty games! Stop lying! What makes a console good? Uh, graphics? No, I just do. I just fucking just told you. It's not graphics that make consoles. If that was true through the over to one, it would have completely beat Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. No, it's not that. So what is it? Is it sales? A lot of people will say, well, yeah, it's like music industry. It's like... Just because Justin Bieber sells fucking trillions of copy or whatever, doesn't mean he's the best. Dude, it's completely different. Pop music is, is for the general public. It, it's, 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 ta it's targeted towards everybody. It's trying to target towards the general population, the majority of the people. Video games is a niche. It's a niche, dude. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard. To me, of course sales is gonna, of course, dude, <laughs> you're gonna tell me that 100 million units compared to 30 million is not significant at all? You're just gonna throw that out the window? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. You know what makes a console? The video game. And you know what N64 lacked? Third party support. Because they had fucking cartridges. That was, game companies didn't want to do that. That's old. That right there makes it a weaker system. Fucking cartridges? Come on! That's dumb! PlayStation had every genre of video games. I've said this a million times in so many so many of my videos. Why do people still make this a debate? I like to rant about this because I love video games. And because I know I'm fucking right. I'm right! I'm sorry! PlayStation 1 isn't my favorite console. People want to say you're a Sony fanboy. I don't even have a PlayStation 3! My PlayStation 1 collection isn't, isn't even that big. I have a bigger Nintendo collection than fucking PlayStation 1. I'm not a, a fan. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking bitch. You're a hoe. I was debating this with some douchebag a long ass time ago. And when I caught him slipping in the argument, when I was stating facts, all he was doing was throwing stupid bullshit of what I just explained, all the examples I just explained to you guys. Dumbass reasons. When he was losing the argument, he throws something stupid. And you want to hear one really stupid ass reason as to why he said Nintendo 64 is better than the PlayStation 1? He said Nintendo 64 is better because college students now, and t with college students of today, they collect N64 more. First of all, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Second of all, of course! 
freshmen in college were born in 1993. They're going to be, be born in 1994 next year. Of course. That was probably their first console. You know why it was their first console? Because they were fucking babies. And parents aren't going to buy babies PlayStation. It was an adult console. You're going to buy them shitty kiddies console like the Nintendo 64. Nintendo tried to be adult with Resident Evil 2. No! It's done. You marketed it as a little kid console. Don't get me wrong. I love Nintendo. I love Smash Brothers. I love Star Fox 64. But I'm not going to stand there and say that N64 is better than PlayStation 1. You're lying to yourself. Stop. Stop. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be heated if people just let it be. This is fact. This is an opinion. I just gave you facts. I gave you numbers. Let alone, how is it that a, co a, a company, Sony, is going to break through a, a freaking video game market where it's already dominated by Nintendo? Nintendo was already in the freaking market for fucking, how, how long? 10 years? What, well into 10 years? They already dominated with the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and the Game Boy. Genesis with the Sega Masters and the Sega Genesis, the Sega. And all of a sudden they're gonna they're gonna come in and dominate. You know how hard it is to break into a fucking market that's already dominated by these consoles, by these companies. It's hard. Panasonic couldn't do it. Philips couldn't do it. NEC tried to do it with the Turbo Graphics. They couldn't do it. They dominate, and then PlayStation One just comes and starts fucking kneeing people, busting elbows, punishing. They dominated the fifth generation of gaming. It's not a it's not a fact that, it's not a matter of opinion, it's fact. They had so many more video games. It lasted longer. They even created fucking classics of today, dude. Tomb Raider, Crash Bandicoot, Tekken, all these RPGs. They had every genre of game. RPGs, I don't even I'm not even a big fan of RPGs and I'm backing up RPGs. What N64 lacked third-party support. They could only they could only survive with their first-party games. Mario. Of course people love Mario. Mario was from Nintendo and Super Nintendo. And then they, they completely changed. And they made Mario sound like a freaking fairy. Mario didn't sound like that, man. I always see fucking videos of today of, It's a me, Mario. Mario didn't sound like that. I remember the Mario I remember was from fucking Super Mario Brothers Super Show. If Mario didn't sound like that, that's not Mario. I don't know what that is. That's like some blue-eyed, brown mustache little little guy. I don't even know what that is, dude. That's not Mario, man. You know what Mario is? That's fucking Mario right there. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, fuck what you heard, dude. You know, what I'm, I'm here. I'm right. That's all I'm here. That's all I'm saying. That's it. I remember when Nintendo 64 came out. I was in middle school. This is. Before I end this video, I'm just going to give you a background of my gaming. First console, I had Nintendo. Nintendo was so cool. Of course, I had to get the Super Nintendo. That was my second console. I was like, oh, Super Nintendo. Now, common sense would have it that if it's so good, you get the Nintendo 64, right? Hmm. All right. Nintendo 64 came out in 1996. I remember seeing it when it first came out in Best Buy. I was so amazed. I was like, holy crap, look at Super Mario. He's in 3D and he talks. You know what I'm saying? Holy shit. Now I was obviously I was I was younger I was in middle school so I didn't have the money to fucking buy whatever right so I had to wait until August of ninety seven now I could have gotten an N sixty four could have gotten a PlayStation now I didn't know what the hell a PlayStation was until my friends had it which way did I go I went with the PlayStation route and oh my gosh thank God I went with the PlayStation you have no idea Nintendo sixty four had this. They just didn't have the games, man. People want to talk about, oh, they had the multiplayer games, oh, blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. Shut the fuck up. How is that even, how is that even better? How is that, how is multiplayer going to make that better than PlayStation? Just because it has a multiplayer? Okay, fine. We'll give it that. It had the multiplayer. Still doesn't make it better than the PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? I was amazed by the Nintendo 64. It was a complete letdown, dude. It was nothing like the Nintendo. Didn't have a third-party support. Nothing like the Super Nintendo. I had a friend that fucking bought the Nintendo 64. He's my age. And if you talk to him today, he'll tell you, man, I really wish I had the PlayStation instead of the Nintendo 64 back in the day. Yeah, he had Ocarina of Time. He loves Ocarina of Time. But he's not going to fucking lie to himself and say that PlayStation was weaker than Nintendo 64. 
There's no debate in it. He always borrowed my place. Hey, man, can I borrow your place? Can I borrow? Motherfucker, you got your shitty Nintendo 64 right there. He's like, no, I don't play that. I'm not bored of that. Of course you're bored of that. Because there is no game to play on that shit. Oh, you want to play some Siphon Filter? Oh, you want to play some Street Fighter? Oh, why don't you go buy a PlayStation? I'm done, dude. That's it. I said my piece. There's no debate in it. Facts, dude. Facts. That's it. Please stop this nonsense where Nintendo 64 is better than the PlayStation. Because it's not. Alright? Nintendo 64, my favorite game is Smash Brothers. I love Smash Brothers, dude. I'll play that shit all day. And like I said, if you guys want to get mad and say I'm wrong, motherfucker, I, I hope you're at least my age to fucking put up them facts and let me know experiences of when that shit first came out. Because if you if you don't remember when that shit came out, shut the fuck up, dude. You don't know nothing. How the hell are you going to tell me? I know video games, alright? Shut up! Unless you have something good to say, constructive. And if you disagree with me, fine, you disagree with me. whoop de fucking do Just because you disagree with me doesn't, still doesn't mean that I'm not, I'm not right. Because I am right. Regardless. Like I said, I'm right. That's it! It's done! It's over! Peace!